Well, here's something you should never do with a can of soda. Why? Because it's gonna explode and everyone knows that. But why does it explode? I guess that's the real question. In order to understand that, we need to understand what's going on inside of the cans with all of that carbon dioxide gas. Well, let's start with a can that we have not shaken yet and pop this one open and pour it into the glass. Hear that? That initial release of carbon dioxide gas there released the pressure, but it doesn't mean that there's not still carbon dioxide gas infused in that water, in this seltzer water. There's plenty of gas still there trying to come out. And the gas will come out whenever it gets a chance to hook on to something, right? The gas wants to go from being inside the liquid to coming out as a bubble. And it's gotta find something to hook onto, those little molecules of carbon dioxide. And they're finding the little nooks and crannies that are here on the inside of the glass. They're called nucleation points. And you can see them all the way around the glass. Wherever the bubbles are hooking onto, those are tiny little imperfections. And if you snap like this, you can actually move the bubbles around. And believe it or not, that's the secret to being able to open up a can of soda right after you shake it. Watch. All right, here we go, shake up the can. You should not open up this soda for a long time. Here's why. If you could look into the can, you would see that all those bubbles of carbon dioxide are hooked on the inside walls all the way around, just like this glass. If I release the pressure, then we increase the volume of those bubbles, which means the bubbles just get bigger and they push all the liquid out. And that's not what we want. So if you've ever seen somebody tap the top of the can before they open it up, I hate to say it, that does nothing, right? Tapping the top doesn't do anything. As you saw from the glass, you need to snap the sides. So if you snap the sides after shaking the can, and you shouldn't open this can for a week, right? You are now moving all of the bubbles to the very top. If the bubbles are at the very top, when you release the pressure, it shouldn't force all the liquid out. And the only way that you can test that is to open up the can. All right, here we go. There it goes. Did you hear the initial release? There it is. And that's how you control the carbon dioxide in a can of soda.